Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the music file, which I am going to use in this visualizer demonstration. And also image file to be used as channel art, or poster, or album logo. So now let's start with creating our main composition. Name it as audio visualizer. As usual width and height is same. Depending on your music file length. You can set your time duration. Here I will set it to just 20 seconds. Here you can also use your image file as background, or create a solid layer. And use it as background layer. For background layer, in effects and preset, search for gradient ramp, add it to solid layer. Here you are free to set any color of your choice. Now adjust the start ramp point, and end ramp point. Perfect. Set ramp scatter value to 200. Make sure you have not selected any layer. Now select rectangle tool. Set fill option to, solid color. Set stroke option to, none. Now you need to create rectangle shape as shown. Align it to center. Perfect. For rectangle 1. We will increase the roundness value, set it to near about 90. For this shape layer, you can add gradient ramp. Or you can just copy the ramp effect from background layer. And paste it over the shape layer. Here you can adjust the start and end of ramp to reverse the color. For shape layer. Search for drop shadow. Add it to the shape layer. For drop shadow, set opacity to 90%. Distance to 0. Increase softness to near about 180. Perfect. Now press Ctrl plus N to create a new composition. We will use this composition to create our spectrum layer. Time duration will be same as music length. From project panel, Drag and drop the music file to timeline. To create visualizer, we need to create a solid layer. Name it as spectrum. In effects and preset, search for audio spectrum, add spectrum to solid layer. For audio spectrum, select the audio layer. Here we will set start and end point at bottom. Perfect. Or you can set them manually. Set start frequency to 30. Set end frequency to 100. 
Here you need to increase the frequency band, increase it till you get plane surface. Perfect. Set maximum height to 600. Select blend overlapping color. Display option, digital, side option 2, side A. Perfect. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now for gradient effect, you can add gradient ramp, and set color, or you can copy the gradient ramp from background layer. And paste it on audio spectrum layer. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of this spectrum layer. Rename it to spectrum 2. Remove gradient effect. Now add fill. Set fill color to white. Let's set maximum height to 900. Change display option to analog lines. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of spectrum 2 layer. For spectrum 3 layer. Change display option to analog dots. Change maximum height to 1100. Here we need to reduce the frequency band value, reduce it till you get the analog dots. Perfect. Now let's add this spectrum layer composition to audio visualizer. Now let's create duplicate of shape layer 1. Place it above the spectrum layer. For spectrum layer, change track mass to shape layer 2. For spectrum layer, adjust the position to bring audio visualizer in the shape layer. You can see the preview. We need to remove the effects added to the shape layer. Remove ramp and shadow effect. If you want to make color different for background layer and spectrum layer, you can do that. Now we will create a new composition, which we will use as channel art, and use this image, which I have already imported. Press Ctrl plus N to create a new composition. Here we will set width and height to 500. Add image file to timeline. Scale image to fit composition. Now select the ellipse tool. Create circle from center as shown. If needed align it to the center. For image file, change track mat to alpha mat shape layer. Here if you want to rename any layer or composition, you can do that. Now add this composition to timeline. Scale this composition. Now adjust the position.
perfect. Now we will add this music and artist name. Here I will just copy this and paste it. Place it below the channel art. Here you can change the font style, set font style of your choice. Perfect. Now let's create a new composition for play buttons. Name it. If you want you can also change the width and height of this composition to create a rectangle comp. Now select ellipse tool. Create circle as shown. For this shape layer, position the anchor point to center. Select Bend tool. Now create shapes as shown. Here you can adjust the position. Here we will change fill color for this shape layers. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of this shape layer. For shape 2, adjust the position. Perfect. Now rotate this shape layer to 180 degrees. Perfect. Now select rectangle tool. Create rectangle bar as shown. Change fill color. Create duplicate of this layer. Position it. Perfect. Now let's add this composition to audio visualizer. Adjust the scale value if needed. Now let's create a new composition. We will use this composition to create particles or bubbles overlay. Set width and height to 1920 by 1080 pixels. Create a new solid. Name it as particles. Now in effects and preset, search for CC bubbles. Add it to solid layer. Here we will make few changes to these bubbles. Change amount to 300. Speed to 0.8. Frequency to 0.8. Bubble size to 1. Change reflection type to metal. Shading type to fade outward. Now let's add ramp effect to this layer. You can see the preview. Here you can also adjust the start position of ramp. Now let's create duplicate of this layer. For duplicate layer, change bubble size to 20. Change reflection type to liquid. Change shading type to fade inward. 
change speed to 0.7. Also change frequency to 0.7. If you want you can increase the number of bubbles. You can see the preview. Now let's add this composition to timeline. Change mode to overlay. You can see these black spots of particles, to remove this. For this particles layer, we need to create a new solid. Position it at middle. Place it above the particle layer. Change track mat. We will do the same for above layer. Perfect. You can see the black spot are removed. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our clean and minimal audio visualizer is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then make sure to like and share this video, and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.